Hi, I'm Willie, and welcome back to my channel. One of the questions I get is people want to see my lab, and I open that up, and enough people want to see it that I am going to do a tour of the lab. So we're going to go through it piece by piece, and then uh, at the end we'll get a nice clean shot of the racks of equipment and the equipment that's stacked here and stacked there and stacked everywhere or mounted up there, mounted over there, or goes in my bag and goes with me, wherever it's at. Um, and one of the other reoccurring questions is, do I have 10 gig in my lab? And the answer is yes, I have 10 gig. I have it at the server and switching level. I do not have it at the desktop level yet. But um, the first piece we're going to go over tonight is the Unify Switch 16 HG. So let's take a look at that. If you cruise on over to ubnt.com and go to products and Unify, then you will see this switch. This is the 10 gig switching option for Unify. There is a, a link to it down in the comments so if you want to buy one please be sure to use that link um, so they are billing it as the 10 gig aggregation switch for enterprise networks and when you see when we unbox it you'll see all of the interfaces the lights and everything but it does have SFP plus ports and then 10 gig RJ45 ports and if you have a Unify Switch 48, you will know that they also have SFP Plus ports with 10 gig option on those 48 port switch. So you can, you know, start deploying, you know, you can have this as your core switch and then uh, go out to your, you know, your closet switches and things like that or switches for your access points. So you can look at the website and how they have it set up some of the deployment options that they've got this is a, a really neat switch um, it, it is really it's not that loud you know I had it running here uh, in the lab and it's 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 really it's really not that loud I can't I don't even know what to, it's 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 a it's quieter than my server my my VMware ESXi server I don't know if that means anything to you or not but Let's go ahead and unbox this. So here is the Unify Switch 16 XG. This is the same white box that all the other Unify gear comes in and then you've got the insert. And let's go ahead and take it out of the insert and get it going. All right, so here is that insert that's inside the white sleeve. We open it up, first thing we have is the quick start guide and I am a fan of these ubiquity quick start guides they pack a lot of information into a little piece of paper here and it's it's actually pretty usable pretty readable but we'll go ahead and fold this up and uh, get rid of this and see what else we've got going on here and next we have the rack mount ears for the side of the switch Then we have the US power plug. We have the screws for the ears. And then we have the rack mount screws to actually put the switch in a rack. Now here's what you've been waiting for. Here's the switch itself. And it's not too heavy. And get rid of this styrofoam. And you can see that over here to the left, we have the familiar U with the LED ring around it. Give us our status. We have the 12 status lights for our 12 SFP plus ports. And then we have four status lights for our four copper ports that are 10 gig, but we'll negotiate down all the way to probably 100 or 10 meg if you need them. And there's our reset button to the right of the copper. Once again, those are four copper 10 gig ports. And then we have 12 SFP plus ports and they all come with those little rubber protectors in them. When we turn the switch, we have the rack mount holes for the ears. And then on the back, what we have is we have a console port so you can put your config cable in there. We have two fans. We have all of the FCC information. We have the serial number. We have the QR code and we have and then we have a DC power plug and yes this can be DC powered and then we have our standard AC plug so now that you've seen these options I think that we can go ahead and go over to the controller and let's get this guy uh, adopted 
So I hope you like that unboxing a little bit better than the um, HD. I may revisit that video again. In fact, I know I will. We're going to do some head-to-head -head comparisons with the HD, so it'll be in a little bit of a different format. I still like the HD unboxing. Lots of people like the HD unboxing. I thought it was pretty good. I just cut out some of the technical stuff, but I hope you like this new format, so please let me know You know, by, by giving a thumbs up. But now you can see this is in the rack. It's ready to go, so we're going to hop over. We're going to open up our Unify app, find it on that, the network, and adopt it into our lab controller. So here we are, <clears throat> and here's uh, we're at Chrome colon slash slash apps. Here's our Ubiquity Discovery tool. So we'll go ahead and open that, and then we will um, go over to Unify Family. Where'd it go? Should be here. There it is. So there it is. Unify Switch XG. It is pending. So we're going to go to Action. And we're going to set the Inform. We're going to set this over to our Lab Controller. And we'll say Execute. And we're going to hop over here. And we can see that our Unify Switch XG is pending adoption. So we're going to go ahead and adopt this guy in. You can see that the USG and the Lab 8 are offline. I'm uh, getting ready for us to do some more um, uh, VPN videos. Sorry about that. Uh, one of my viewers, uh, my friend Dennis from over in Indiana, Indiana, I believe it's Indiana. If I'm wrong, Dennis, let me know, um, has uh, offered to send a Cisco ASA 5505 for us to do some videos on. So we're going to be doing that. And of course, in you know the one rack, I do have Cisco switches. So you can look forward to some Cisco content. All right. So we can see that the switch is provisioning. Okay. So we are provisioned and connected. So we're going to click on this guy. And we're going to go over here, and you can see we've got uh, some stats, uh, uplinks, uh, port 16. So you'll see that it's uplinked at a gigabit to the other copper um, network. So at this point, the rest of the lab is the bottleneck on this guy. And for downlinks, there's nothing. Um, we'll go back to this overview so we could look at uh, there's uh, users that, it, that it's seeing guess it shouldn't see anything we can bring up the ports so you can see uh, SFP you know 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 default names on the SFP plus ports and then port 13 14 15 and 16 and you can see 16 that is our uplink and we can come over here let's give this an alias let's call this lab 10g And then, you you know, we can still do the site settings for the LED. Um, you know, we don't have any of the other networks configured at this point because we've been doing some of the VPN stuff. So, um, you know, we can look at the native network and all that. And that's, that's the only network we've got at this point. Services, we got RSTP, STP, or disabled. We can change the management VLAN if we had one. We can do enable jumbo frame, enable flow control. We can set the priority. We can en enable 802.1x control. Go over to network. You know, we'll, you know, we can set a static IP on this guy. We can do the manage device so we can copy the configuration and we can do a custom upgrade. We can forget the device. And one of my favorite features is the debug terminal. So right now and in, in future videos as we're building the lab out, um, you will see we will start interconnecting, you know, different devices. So 
that's kind of all I got right now. If you've got 10 gig devices and you're using Unify and Unify is working great for you, but you need that 10 gig, the switch is perfect. There are links to the switch and the SFP modules, which come in two packs from Ubiquity uh, down in the uh, description. If you follow me on Twitter or and Instagram, um, if you don't, you should. And, and my usernames are down there, but uh, the last couple days I posted installing some of the ubiquity sfps in some cisco switches and they do work so we're actually uplinking edge routers to cisco until the life of the cisco is over and then they're going to get replaced with either ubiquity or not cisco but anyway that's it for this video so uh pay attention to uh the feed knowledge nuggets is going to be coming up once again i want to thank all of the subscribers without you guys i really um you know, I really uh, wouldn't have a, a real reason to put this out here and to keep doing this. So I do appreciate every single one of you. Please, you know, tell your friends if they're interested in Unify, let them know about the channel and let, let's grow this thing. Let's let's blow up uh, the subscriber base and really get it going. So um, don't forget, Friday is going to be Knowledge Nuggets. We're going to be dropping those Knowledge Nuggets on you. I don't know how that's going to work. My friend Tim Bear over at tbear.com is working on the logo for that. He's also working on the logo for Security Saturday, which that's going to be a half hour show. And uh, we'll see how this first week goes, but we may open it up and do uh, do live broadcast with that once a month too. We'll just have to see how the first one shakes out, but he's also working on a logo for Security Saturday. So I'm thinking about doing Knowledge Nugget and Security Saturday t-shirts because those are going to become staples along with all the configuration videos that you love. So uh, stick around and you're going to see those. And what a week to start a security security vlog. Holy cow. But we'll get to that on Saturday. So if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Please comment. Please subscribe. Please share. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.